don't have a Hegemon, but always wanted a Hegemon, I got you today. Good morning, what's up guys? MTG Jedi here, and man do I have a sweet one for you today. You do not expect what I'm about to show you, okay? Uh, big shout out to my dude Tyraku. I was watching his channel this morning, and um, that's the inspiration for this video. His team is a little bit different. I will show you that in a second. Um, but today, we are going to build our own Hegemon. Okay, so let's first take a look at Hegemon just to go over his kit real quick. Okay, the real reason why Hegemon is so good is because he always goes first. Okay, when he goes first, he has a chance to put a block active skills. Okay, and he can do a decreased speed. So, if you put um, the evil eye mastery on him, then there's a lot of potential there. Okay, if you've been following the channel, you know that I also have a Hegemon. I need to put this banner back on. Um, yeah, sure, we'll do this one, that's fine. I don't remember why I stole the other one, but I don't really need to worry about it. So, uh, he is great in a stun set, because he's always going to go first. So you're going to get a chance to put a stun on them, you're going to get a chance to lock them out with the block active skills, and then you also have the evil eye mastery, uh, right here, to decrease their turn meter. Okay, now, obviously, this is a Void Legendary Champion, okay? I'm just blessed to have two of them, okay? That's that's all there is. I'm just blessed to have two Hegemon. Most people don't even have one Hegemon, and uh, I'm pretty sure my dude Tairaku, this is his number one most wanted champion, so it's no surprise that he loves this team, because it works the same way. Now... You will not expect the champions that we're going to use, though. You will not expect it, okay? Um, <clears throat> I guess we're not under recently used. So let's head over to the arena where we're going to showcase this team today. And what we are going to do is we are going to use Gerda Bogbrew, okay? Now, Gerda, this uh, ugly wench here... I'm sorry, she's beautiful in my heart. Uh, she has a turn meter decrease whenever an enemy receives a debuff. Now, why is that important? Because Calvalax over here, he places four poisons at the beginning of the round. So, because Calvalax actually goes first, I... I don't think that you can beat a Hegemon team. So it's not like an, a Hegemon counter. But it's going to work the same way as Hegemon because Calvalax is going to place these at the start of each round, which is going first, right? He has an ability which goes first. Now, um, the next champion we're going to use is Seeker, okay? And then the fourth champion can be any nuker, but I do recommend uh, our dude Gaius because of the bombs and the sleep. Okay, that's three debuffs. Okay, so we're going to mess with their turn meter even more. Okay, but also Gaius can kill people through stone skin, which is now becoming very prevalent. All right, let's go over everyone's kit thoroughly here before we before we do anything now Gerda I do have a video on her on the channel she can actually do good damage um surprisingly as a support champion all of her abilities are based on attack and so if you actually raise her attack a bunch she can do okay damage check that video out if you're interested in seeing that damage showcase and champion showcase for Gerda okay now uh, on her A3 here, I do not have her booked yet. I was not prepared to spend money to make this video. Also, I'm leaving to go out of town today, so I didn't have 
time to wait to do this you know we just needed to do it okay so if i end up using this team then i'm gonna book her guys i am going to book a gerda bog brew okay now this is not bad okay you remove a random buff and place two poisons so if she gets a turn then she's going to remove their shield remove their um like the worst case scenario is that they have an immunity set because then Calvalax is not going to place those poisons. But the teams that we want to target are Arbiter teams that are faster than us, okay? That's the ones that you need help with anyway, probably, from my experience, okay? Her A2 has an AoE Weaken that if you don't place it also gets two poisons. Again, decent damage here. And then the A1, she can do a debuff spread, but here's the most important thing. Decreases the target's turn meter by 10% if they're not under any debuffs. So you can still mess with their turn meter if you don't debuff them, okay? But again, the most important thing here is that turn meter decrease, okay? Now, I have Calvalax in the lead here. He does have a speed in all auras, uh, speed in all battles aura, and that does matter, Okay. He's going to automatically place those four poisons. Um, oh, and then he can place another poison when he takes a turn. Okay, I was like, did I, do I not know what this champion does? Okay, anyway, he can't be poisoned, okay, which is pretty cool. Now, I have him built for damage, so he is going to do some damage here, but he's not a good enough damage dealer to wipe the team. But I was considering testing him in Savage to see if this was good enough damage to wipe the team. So I don't know. It's possible that we might just put a, another person in here and use Calvalax as our damage dealer. Now, this is important. Okay, place an extra hit for each poison debuff on the target of the three extra hits. This is a four hitter here. Okay, and it can do some damage. Okay, now on his A1. Um, he is going to extend the duration of the poisons, okay? So, there's all of that. Um, right here. Uh, 50% on start of each. I really thought that this placed a poison, so I was mistaken about that, okay? But anyway, that's Calvalax, okay? Great champion. We have Gerda, we have Calvalax. What is Seeker in this team for, okay? Well, I... Let me first say that Tairaku wanted to use, and did in the video, he used freaking Noble in this team. But he had Noble over 300 speed, and that I did not think was reasonable. He had Noble at like 300 speed and 500 accuracy, and I don't think I could get those stats. So that means I don't think you could get those stats. So I wanted to come up with another option, and that's where Seeker came in. Seeker is going to give us the turn meter boost, right? Seeker is going to give us the turn meter boost and increase attack, which is going to help us do more damage. But also, he's going to provoke. So what we're going to do is, instead of Hegemon locking everybody out, we're going to provoke their Arbiter and then force them to not be able to do their turn meter boost and their team, okay? And then last but not least, Gaius. I don't think I really need to explain him, but he has the AoE sleep and bombs. He can detonate the bombs. He can kill people and then get extra turns. He can place bombs. Instantly detonates all bombs whenever this champion is killed. That can really save you a lot. Um, so... What do you think about this team? Are you ready to see this in action? Does it make sense? <laughs> Let me know in the comments below. I can explain more. So, now, the main reason why you want this team is because you are not going first in the arena. Okay? This Arbiter, if I were to have my normal Arbiter in here, like... I was running Arbiter around 300 speed uh, for Hydra, okay? When I tested Arbiter in this spot, she did not go first, 
Okay, so I put Seeker, I think he's at 330, 333, 33, 330-something, because that's the most common speed I see when I'm doing takeovers on people's accounts. But 330 speed is not good enough to go first in most situations, but here it is, because Gerd is passive, triggered, and decreased their turn meter just enough so that we can boost and provoke and decrease the turn meter even more okay now with this we can either place more poisons and decrease their turn meter even more and then hit them with the the bombs and the sleep how crazy is that okay then calvlax here you're gonna see he can do some good damage here okay but it's not quite good enough Okay, and then, oh, uh, we got to revive. And we're, then Arbiter's going to revive there. Interesting. Um, I think when I was testing this before, um, we, hmm, interesting. So the double reviver might be a little bit tricky here. <laughs> um... I want to do here I don't know just try to kill him okay cool and then can we yeah, I don't know we'll just kill her I mean this is still a win but it's not quite as clean as I would have liked okay she's dead and then we can just hit auto here and then the Arbiter will die. Okay, perfect. I don't know what, what you're doing here, Polarium, to uh, mess up the, the thing over here. But you can see, like, this is, a, this is a normal Arbiter team. And if you were coming in here, it would be like, am I faster than this Arbiter? Can I win this fight? Because most people do not have a good Go Second team. Now, you're not going to want to go up against a Mithrala, and you're not going to want to go up against a Yumiko or a Warlord. That is my opinion, but um, it's not, you know, it depends on you and your account. So, here would be another good example. Now, if this Arbiter is like 340 speed, we're not going to be fast enough. So, with this team, you do have to learn based on how fast you make your Seeker, what teams you can beat. See, and the Lissandra here was actually the fastest champion. That's shocking. Um, so, we are not going to get a... Are we going to get a turn here? But this is... Okay, I don't know what's going on with Polarium play since this update. But that's not going to be enough damage. Okay, so that was not fast enough for to beat that team. However, it is fast enough to beat a lot of Arbiter teams, okay? Now, my guess is that this is because of Mountain King here, okay? And this is a much higher team power, right? So, we can just come in here. We didn't get the Provoke, okay? But that's okay. We can still decrease their turn meter a little more and then do the bombs. Perfect. Now, I'm not sure if we actually want to wake anybody up here, so I'm going to test this like that. Um, how? <laughs> Server maintenance, that's fine. I absolutely love when Gaius dies and then that kills them. I love it. I absolutely love it. It's hilarious. Um, so, like, this would be a great example of a team that you would want to go up against, okay? Now, if you got some stupid team in here, you should be able to beat them. But why do we have four Galax leveled up? And why is it 214,000 power? Anyway, I don't know what's going on there. Um, but so, like, this team is awesome, guys. Like, it really resembles this, like, Hegemon-style team. Okay, so I don't want to keep you here forever. Let's go take a look at the champions and their gear. Um, and let me know if you like this team.
Again, shout out to my dude Tairaku. What an amazing concept here of Gerda plus Calvalax. If we could have a second Calvalax, that might be even better than Seeker, to be honest. Because then Calvalax could kill somebody and we could we wouldn't need Gaius. So I don't know. I if I ever get a second Calvalax, I will be loving it. I will be loving it. Okay, so total stats on Gerda. She is fast, okay, 273, 456 accuracy. But like I feel like that's, I don't know, manageable. I don't have any kind of crazy gear on her. Like, these are the, this is the best piece of gear on her, and it's a triple speed roll on a, on a five-star piece, which is the same thing as a double speed roll on a six-star rare piece. So, you know, I, it's not that crazy or anything. Um, on Seeker, I did put, like I said, I did put reasonable gear on him, 337, um, but I, I think that that's the normal range that people are in. Uh, now, I would really love to switch this to an accuracy chest. Uh, I think we could definitely use more accuracy on him. But I didn't like, I didn't glyph any speed here. Uh, I stole some gear from some people in order to get him to this. But I did not glyph the, the speed. I did not glyph the accuracy. Okay, so the total speed is what's important here. Um... For his masteries, I thought that this was particularly important, okay? We put the Fearsome Presence on here to get that extra chance to provoke. And uh, we also put the Evil Eye Mastery on there in case we don't get the provoke. We're going to push their turn meter back anyway, okay? Love those masteries so far. Um, uh, Gerda, does she even have masteries? Oh, she does. She still has the damage masteries. <laughs> Okay, well, go check out the other video. It's good fun. Um, Calvlax, uh, he has damage masteries for my uh, dragon team. And he is in just some random gear pieces here. But you can see pretty decent stats. Um, and then Gaius, he's in as much attack as I could manage. That's the most important thing for the bombs. Uh, I was running him with Lady Kimmy, so I wasn't worried about the accuracy. But if you're running this team against my suggested other Arbiter teams, I think that you're going to be pleased. That you're going to be pleased. Oh, I was probably blocking the Masteries on Gerda. But it doesn't matter. They're not important in any way. Uh, but anyway, I don't know if we really need War Master. I, I don't think that the masteries are important except for the accuracy. And, like, some of this stuff will make him do more damage. Like, the, we got the attack mastery up here. Um, we have the uh, damage to targets that are under sleep. So, uh, I'm pretty sure that's everybody. Let me just flip back through just to make sure. Um, Calvalax only set on him is a crit damage set. I mean... Like, what is on here? Oh, okay. Well, that makes sense. All right, so that's the team. That's the strategy. What do you think about building your own Hegemon? Really, the only difficult to obtain champion is the Calvalax. Everybody gets Gerda. Seeker is a very common champion to have. And you can use any damage dealer. It does not have to be Gaius. So if you have a Calvalax, you can probably build this team. And honestly, it's shockingly good. It's shockingly good. Will I use it on my account? I have been considering that. I honestly have been considering whether I would use this on my account or not. Because it's just so cool. And it's so good. So let me know what you think. Thank you so much for watching. I'm MTG Jedi. More great videos coming on the channel in the next couple of days. Make sure you're subscribed. And I'll see you guys in the next video.